the lost connection. The first time I was asked what is poetry, I think I mumbled something that had beyond in it, and a lot of spiritual stuff. Everyone else gave informed and clever definitions, and I felt a bit naive. Making the invisible visible is what Paul Klee said about painting. Then poetry must be the reworking of the first words on the first day of creation, actualized every time in a different light, turning all the unwords into blossoming tunes. It is co-participation and engagement in this world, a pledge of sorts between our minds and the mismatching image, a vow to restore the lost connection between sign and reference, the nascent sea and the moon. Or else, maybe the syllable rhyme from the beginnings will always elude us, like an afterthought that we get from the startle of birds as they whisk away droplets of rain while chanting their wakening song. We're half awake in a fake empire, said a national song. They also said poets are liars, but I beg to differ as we have consciously grazed the kernel of mouths, the sleeping sounds awakes us as though in a thunder of thought. I place my bets on Orpheus's lyre any time, rather than hum the deconstruction mode, collude with the likes of Yon and Burroughs, then keep silent and complicitous with the orphaned mind, the glittery mists of abandonment. It is a singing in tune, like in the beginning of times, when angelic choirs received and returned the grace and the might. Although most of it is not ours, maybe a stolen fire, that may just burn us out one day. But oh, what a blaze.